Hello everybody and welcome back to Chellington Extended. Now the vote has been decided on which map is next on multiplayer and it is Chellington Extended. So that obviously means that we're going to have to swap the single player over to multiplayer. I'm going to finish the single player series but continue on multiplayer with the same save game. Don't worry about having it messed up though because I'm going to back it up so if anything does go wrong I've, I've got a backup. Uh, but yeah we'll just continue the series as we are doing but only in multiplayer and I think today we need to do some uh, animal work sheep work because I did the uh, the mowing and I rode it up but I haven't picked it up yet and I don't want it to start rotting in the field and also I don't want the grass to start growing again for that matter so we need to pick that up first of all as a priority we do need to do the wood chipping as well but I don't know if we'll do that today we do want to sort out these sheep and also I think the chickens may need some more water. I don't think I've been down there before. I usually go down here. Right, so that's where I put the mowers. I'm going to put this one somewhere else because it is a fairly long machine when it's got this great big rake on the back. It's also starting to go dark. It's, it's dusky, so it, it's not too late. I'm not going to stop yet, but at some stage we will have to fast forward, probably at the end of this video. Right then, so that can go there. We'll just disconnect that. We need to take the PTO off. And then we need to buy loading wagons and I think, not the smallest. There are some quite big fields on this map, so I think, actually we can't afford it. Oh, well done. Oh, I'm trying to buy stuff which I can't afford. In that case, we will have to sell grain if we've got some. I don't know if we've got any grain or not. We have. So if I take some canola, or anything for that matter, because it's all very similar, uh, to Chellington stores, we should just about get enough money to afford the second largest, or second smallest it could be. It's actually day three. Uh, the one in the middle. Um, we, could, we could go and sell that and we could buy that. But first I need to be able to find my IT runner trailer, which I've gone and lost. Where could that be? Where am I using it? That is a good question. I have no idea. Found it! Now I need to put the tipper attachment. We could have used that other trailer there, but I quite like using this. We also have a Marshall trailer. Come to think of it, we probably don't even need that many trailers. Seems a bit ridiculous. Still trying to get used to the 900 degree turn. Good. So, just a bit of canola. There isn't much. It does seem like a bit of a waste of time, but it should just boost us a little bit. <laughs> Look at that, 19% in the bottom. Seems a bit ridiculous. 
But anyway, doesn't matter. We'll go and sell this now. Now uh, I could leave the trailer down there because we may need it again for doing some silage moving in the future. So what I'll do is I'll drop it off down there and I'll move on to the store which is where we'll obviously pick up our loading wagon and then we will bring it back to our field. It's actually quite a long way. Oh sorry, I didn't see you. we transferred over to the newer map it means that everything all the fields have got crops in again but that I'm sure will be done on multiplayer we'll have a lot of fun on this map there have been so many different fields which I haven't even got to yet just because I've been taking it fairly slow really I guess I could have started off with more money more equipment and everything but I quite like the pace I'm doing it at obviously in multiplayer everything is so fast paced everything all these fields will be harvested and drilled and everything and within a week we'll have done more than what I've done overall but anyway yeah I can't wait for it to be a multiplayer I just need to upload it I don't think the version has changed since I downloaded it off FSUK so I'm hoping I can just transfer my downloaded file and put it onto the server uh, without any problems but I might have to re-download it I'm not sure Okay, so here we are. We should get about £22,000, I think. Oh no, that just shows how off I was. No, I was thinking it was uh, 22,000 litres. But no, it was only 8,000 or so. Useless. Anyway, uh, we'll park this somewhere which we, where we're not going to be blocking it too much. I mean, we are going to be blocking some entrances a little bit, but we'll just put it here for now. We should be able to get other vehicles through. Yeah, no problem at all. So, yep, up to the shop. Pick up our loading wagon. We'll do a... I don't know if we'll do a loop. We might come back the same way that we came. Whichever's quickest. And then we will go up to the field. Yeah, actually, if we go left out of here, keep going around, we should be able to get there fairly quickly. We've got the chipper and everything, already, but I just thought this would be a bit more of a priority. Right then. So, loading wagons. The Bergman. There it is. And I could have gone for the small one, but it's quite a long way between the field and the yard, and there is a fair bit to actually pick up, so we don't want to be going backwards and forwards too much. Ah, oh, yeah, someone told me about that track. Apparently that track... I'm stopping the traffic now, but apparently it comes out of field 10. I really want to go down there. Oh, there's a car turned up behind me. Hang on, we will. We'll try and get down there. Right, quickly! I know it seems a bit excessive just for wanting to go down a track, but I know it's quite a good track. Because it's all bumpy. We're going to have to take it steady. Right, I can set my cruise control on the new control panel and there we go that should keep it nice and steady don't think we want to be going any more than 10 miles per hour on here so 
there's field 13. This is like a secret way around all the fields. Where does it actually go to? Just field 10. Oh, I know where it is. It's the track which goes to the field with the castle in it. It's just I never went on it far enough to know where it came out. I have been down here before. I just totally forgot. Never really used that yard there. It's not very big. I could put some bales in there. This probably isn't a shortcut at all. It's just a bit more picturesque than going on the main road. There's the castle with the Union Jack flying. And there's our crops growing as well. That's canola that we did with that John Deere. And that field will be grass again, but I don't think we're going to need to do anything with it. I mean, we've cut it once and it was it was a big job to do that, so I think we should be okay leaving it as it is. We've obviously got lots of silage bales which we can either sell or use. They fell over, but I'm sorting it out slowly. When we do some more mixed ration, we'll use that. We also need to sell the silage which we've got in the pit at the yard, because I don't think we're going to need that. And these two rolled out as well. It's a bit messy, it needs sorting out. And yeah, here's field 10 on the right. So that was pretty good. It was a slow way, but it does cut the corner, and it's a more interesting way to go as well. And I suppose if we were going to field 10, that probably would be an easier way, or maybe 13. Now I don't think this will go under the bridge, so we're going to turn left here. This way we can go over the, the bridge which goes over the train line. That is a big field, I never realised how big field number 9 was. Again, we'll have to do that in multiplayer. I'm yet to see a train on there. I thought it was supposed to be intercity, but I haven't seen it. Maybe my version is out of date, I'm not sure. Now I've never continued here, I usually used to pull off there. I never have driven onwards. But I'm pretty sure I know where it comes out. It's where I said before, I've never been down there. But we have now. Oh, there's a gate. I wasn't expecting that. Must be like a private road then. There is a sign. Challington Farm. It must be the private road to Challington Farm. And then we come out here. So yeah, that is a pretty good way of going. It does cut the corner. I wouldn't say it was quicker, but I still like the way, I still like going that way. Always a car. And we probably could do with putting a bit of diesel in. We're not doing too badly, but we're just, we're between half a tank and three quarters of a tank, so we might as well put something in as we're here. Just pull up to a pump, as you do in a tractor. I reckon we all know what that sign's supposed to be. Has to be said though, it's not a very thirsty tractor. Pay as you go. You've got to love the automatic paying system. 
Right then, so now we have only £2,500 left. We're going to have to do some more silage selling. But the cows will start to bring in some, some income. The sheep from the wool, obviously. The chickens just mind their own business and bring in the eggs. And we'll do some harvests. And yeah, you know, when it gets to multiplayer, you know what it's like. We're on, what, 2,000? Just under 2,500. And when we get into multiplayer, we'll be on 5 million in probably a week. So we really don't have to worry. And now for the fairly easy task of just picking up all this grass. Now I'm just hoping it's all going to fit. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just going to take a lot longer to do. I was hoping it would all go in one load, but actually already on 10%. We've done that, and I don't think it's going to go in one load. Which you could say is a very good thing, because we're going to have more, which we could turn into silage if we wanted to, sell it for a lot of money. And the amount which we're actually going to need for the sheep is very minimal, really. Quite a tight corner, that. Okay, that's almost once around the field, 80%. I think we're going to get probably three or four loads out of this. Yeah, that's one round. Although, that was the biggest time round. Obviously, as we work into the middle, we weren't picking up as much. We might get it in three loads. But we're almost full. There we go. 38,000 litres. Back to the yard then. You may also notice that I put the time to 5 times 5 because we weren't really progressing too much. That is really steep. So yeah, it should should make it better because obviously we don't want to always be in sunset. We want to actually move on to the next day. Right, this first load can go to the sheep. Then we know how much we can actually put into the silage pit. Really bumpy. Good job we're on a suspended seat. Oh, we'll also have to move that out of the way. Fancy putting it there. There's our John Deere. So, there are quite a lot of sheep, so they should take a fair amount, but obviously not much in the scheme of things. We've got a lot in that field. Please tell me you take it. That's not a water trough, is it? I'm always doing this. Oh, run over a sheep. Whoops. Okay, that's not too good. Um, I'll try the other side. That's worrying. Ah, oh. that is so lucky. 
so yeah not too much just 16 percent Which means all the rest can go into the silage pit. And you know what's annoying? We left the tractor with the IT runner trailer over in the other yard. So we just have to... We can get past it, we'll just put it in the back. We'll move it later on. Put it all in the back. And now for the next load. Really, it's starting to go dark. Just going to put the lights on. I don't really want to be doing it when it goes pitch black because you can't see much. But we're getting on quite well. Not many rows left to do. I think we'll get it all into the next load. And there we go again, pretty much there, we've just got a little bit left. So back to the yard, we'll tip this and it's really not going to fill it too much but we'll come back again and do the final load. Right, I think we're going to need some lights on here. starting to fill up. The clamp next to it is still fermenting. I don't know how much longer it's going to take. Well that's that one done. Final load or small amounts from a load. There won't be much in it. We'll probably only get about 25%.
Okay, here we go. This should be really quick. And believe it or not, we're actually going to make a lot of money out of this. Because we're going to ferment it, and that is obviously worth a lot. Actually getting more than the thought as well. That's a 25%, we're already on 42. It's really a very decent yield in this field. But, there we go, job done. So let's turn it off and head back to the yard and tip our final load. Here we are, quite a late finish today. 20 to 11 at night, for just picking up some grass, but the job is done, so that's all good. I think that combine needs to get in a more sensible position as well. It's a bit in the way. But there we are. There was 65% in that, that's pretty decent. It's also starting to creep out into where that little IT runner bale trailer attachment is so we'll have to move that as soon as possible but there we go thanks for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you next time bye for now